number of the day, number of the day, which number will it be, number of the day? There it is in that circle, the number of the day is 18. I wonder if we can find 18 on our number track. Can you see it? So you need to remember that 18 is made up of the digits 1 and 8. The 1 means 110, so you're looking for 110. And the 8 means 8 ones, so you need the, the other shape to be made up of 8 ones. So we need a 10 and 8. Can you see it? I bet you can. Here it is. There. Well done, that one's 18. OK, but if we make the number track disappear, the shape track, um, then we can look at what is the same as 18. And there we are on fingers. You might need your family to help you with that one. There are the number shapes. And there they are again in a different arrangement, a different way to look at them. Still 18, though. Now, 18 is the same as 9 add 9. That's a double. Double 9 makes 18. And that's how you write 18. I think we should find a number that's fewer than 18, though. So think about a number track that goes from 0 um, all the way up uh, to 20, at least, maybe even higher. And all those numbers that you will see before you get to 18, or all the numbers that you say before you get to 18, they are fewer. I thought of, ooh, a glittery number six. And then if we want to find numbers that are more than 18, you find 18 on a number track and think of all those numbers that you will say afterwards. I thought of, oh, the number 32, that's a restaurant, the number 32. So we know numbers that are fewer and more, but what about one less and one more? So let's put 18 in the middle and there's our number track. And you find 18 on the number track to help you. You can jump down one less and up one more. Can you see it? Well done. OK, I'm going to make the number track disappear now, though. So you're looking for um, the number that comes just before 18 and just after 18. Ready? OK, one less. So the number you say when you're counting before you get to 18 is 17. One less is seven to, one less is 17. One less than 18 is 17. And what about one more? So what comes after 18 when you're counting? If you have 18 cakes and then you have one more, you have 19. Well done. So on our 10 frame, we can make our number 18. You probably know you're going to need a 10. And then do you remember the number shapes from the beginning? We needed 10 and 8 more. There it is, 18. You can see the 10 is represented by the red counters and the 8 is represented by the yellow counters. You can use 10 frames to work out how many more you need to get to 20 as well. I think you can see you need two more. Here's our part, part, whole model. So our number of the day goes in the top, and that's 18. 18, there it is. Now remember, we always use 10 as one of our parts, but you can use anything. You can move one down, you can move zero down, and all the other counters go in the other part. As in zero and 18 makes 18. But as I said, we always have 10, because that helps us Make sure that our, uh, our um, partitioning, which is splitting up into tens and ones, is really strong. So we know that 18 is 10 and 8 more. Well done. So we've partitioned, we've split up 18 into um, the tens and the ones. So 
we can look at those numbers and say that uh, 10 add 8 equals 18. Or we could swap those first numbers around, the parts around, and say that 8 add 10 is 18. Or we could do some subtractions. So we could start with a whole, 18, and we could take one of the parts away, that's 10, and we get 8. Or we can start with 18 and take 8 of them away, and then we get 10. Well done, everyone. Have fun with your numbers.